Hey, what's up you guys? It's Simon. Welcome to my channel and welcome to 2023. I am so excited about this year, but before I get into my sentiments about this year and today's video, um, I just want to mention that I am outside because it's beautiful out. It's really foggy, um, just very chill vibes outside, so I had to be out here. Um, but because I'm out here, there's outside noises like trains and planes and cars um, and I did do a little test recording, um, but as I speak, the world moves on, so uh, sounds are going to be different, but hopefully it's more like ambiance than it is a distraction. <laughs> Anyways, so as I said, welcome to 2023. Um, I am so excited about this year because 2023, 23, is a very special and lucky number for me, um, and on top of that, it's the year of the rabbit. And I was born in the year of the rabbit, so things are looking very positive for me this year. I also had two bowls of black eyed pea soup yesterday, which is wonderful um, and very lucky for me, which little tangent. I, as a kid, I hated this stuff. My grandma would make it for me and all my cousins every year and we'd all be like, oh no. And she would literally like force us to eat at least a spoonful. She's very superstitious and it's good luck. Um, and uh, for the first time in probably since I was 11, I messaged her on my own some as an adult and was like, are you making the soup? Are, are you? Are you making the soup? And she did. And it was so good. And I was like, why did little me hate this? I don't understand. This is delicious and very lucky. So I had two bowls of it and it was amazing. And I'm going to have it for breakfast because it's very good. Anyways, <laughs> so 2023 is shaping up to be very, very lucky for me. So. I'm feeling pretty positive about this year and a lot of things uh, to come in this year. Uh, as you guys know, towards the end of 2022, I was feeling a lot of not positive. <laughs> um, I was full of stress. I was feeling a lot of pressure and anxiety, um, and I didn't have a good work-life balance. I was hating all of my art, struggling to get commissions and then stay on top of those commissions when I would inevitably receive like a handful at once because I was desperately marketing myself um, and doing like sales and all this other stuff. So I'd go from having zero to having like nine <laughs> that, that was scary um but i am leaving all of that mess and disorganization in 2022 and coming into 2023 motivated hopefully organized and ready to make some art no matter what the outcome of that art may be um, i'm not going to talk too much about the illustration today because i have a lot of things that i want to get through so instead i'm just going to blow through this portion really quickly um, i noticed that my pinned video is a meet the artist from 2020 which we're obviously well past that by now right so i definitely need to do a more current version of that especially because sometimes it scares me that people will go to my channel and see that and then think that i haven't uploaded since 2020 so <laughs> definitely need to do a little refresher on that so here we have a little self-portrait as well as some of my favorite items that i either currently use or hope to use in this new year in some cases um Feel free to pause and ponder if you wish, and maybe comment down below if we share a favorite or if you hate one of my favorites, or maybe you just want to tell me about some of your own. Um, also, maybe consider possibly subscribing <laughs> and liking this video. Um, that's another goal that I have for tw another goal. That's a goal that I have for 2023 because I get so distracted when I make these videos. I'm just talking to you guys, and I don't ever sit down and think without scripting. Hey, here's a good place <laughs> to say to subscribe i never remember to do that so i'm gonna try to be better about that it's like the cardinal role of rule of youtube you you tell people to subscribe or they will forget because we're all distracted um so yeah maybe do that if you like it but i i i think that's probably gonna be the first one that i fall off of in 2023 um anyways <laughs> so consider subscribing if you like this nonsense now that we got that out of the way um First, I want to take one last look back at 2022 and see what my resolutions and goals were and see if I completed any of those. So my goals for 2022 were actually pretty wholesome. Um, I don't think I'd be able to really do like a checklist style and see if I got through them the way that I've been able to in previous years. So I'm just going to 
kind of list them and acknowledge them, but yeah. Anyway, um, my goals for 2022 were to be ambitious with my artwork, be mindful of things like my mental health, and specifically focusing on my mental health surrounding my artwork, and finally improving my artwork but in a healthier way than the mindless grind that I sometimes find myself slipping into. Um, and I think I sort of half completed this. I think I was definitely more ambitious with my art this year. Um, I experimented with a handful of new mediums like gouache, and I also went back to my old one there painting style a few times, which was really fun, but also, I don't know how I did that! <laughs> I used to only draw that way! How? It's so hard! It's like, it's like acrylic for me. I can't do acrylic because I'll draw my sketch, get attached to it, and then be scared, because now I have to cover it up? How am I going to get it back? I don't understand. If you are an acrylic artist and you have tips for how to paint, please tell me because I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I want to. That's why I've been painting mostly bugs with gouache because I don't have a face that I'm worried about losing. I, I, they're just shapes. They're big shapes and I know a face is just a shape also, but it's more complex, I feel like, than a ladybug. A ladybug is just a circle with some buttons on it. So, yeah, if you have any tips for painting faces or know artists that are good at that, help, comment, help. I really want to learn how to do that this year. Um, anyways, that being said, all of that done, at the same time, I also had a really negative mindset concerning my artwork towards the latter half of this year, mostly. Um, I started hating my art style and struggling to make work that wasn't for commissions, even when it came to things like YouTube. Uh, it's why I started doing redraw after redraw and study after study, hoping that suddenly a switch would flip and I would like my art again. And while that did happen on the occasion, a lot of the time, it would just be one piece. It would be one illustration that'd be like, maybe I'm not a terrible artist and then I tried to draw again and I'd be like psych how did you even make that you suck very bad mindset um so hoping to definitely get out of that this year um I think I'm really gonna have to work on the mindset thing in this new year um speaking of this new year what are my goals for this year you may be asking that's why you clicked on the video i presume <laughs> um i actually have a lot for this year so the main thing that i'm going to be focusing on this year is experimentation uh different mediums different art styles maybe uh different techniques and things like that and some of it might end up on this channel but a lot of it might not um definitely one of my goals is to try a lot of new things and hopefully get out of this gnarly art block that i have been experiencing uh, the second thing that I'd like to focus on is just having a better mindset, like I said. Again, um, I want to allow myself to make ugly art. I want to struggle and take breaks without feeling guilty for taking them. I want to pick up Tears of the Kingdom and march without feeling guilty that I'm doing something other than working. Uh, and I also want to recognize that when I do work, things aren't always going to come easily or naturally to me. My muscle memory is shot and I need to build it up again. And I can't do that if I keep putting down the pencil. So yeah, take it easy, but also push myself when I need to. Um, the next few aren't necessarily goals or resolutions rather, but more so things that I would like to do that I think would be really fun. Um, and the first thing to uh, that I want to start on this channel specifically, actually, um, I've been reading a lot since March of this year, but not necessarily books. <laughs> um, but I keep telling myself, I don't have time to read big things like novels or sit down and read a whole book. So I am playing with the idea of maybe reading a book and then telling you guys some of my thoughts and favorite parts about it without too many spoilers and uh, maybe doing some fan art of the characters or just generally art in the background if I'm not inspired by um, any of the characters, especially because some of the books that I want to read, I feel like would be strange to do fan art of, if that makes sense, just like thematically. It's like, do I... <laughs> Do I want to do fan art of that? I don't know. Anyway, um, I, don't, I only have one book planned so far for this series. I have some books that planned that I want to read, um, but the only one that I have planned for this series is The Song of Achilles. Um, I've always loved their story in passing, but haven't had time to actually sit down and read a book dedicated to it. I've played Hades, and I've gone through the Patrick Achilles Tumblr tag. <laughs> Anyways, um, I flipped through some of the pages in Song of Achilles to see if I'd be interested in the writing style, and I cannot express to y'all how Oh, it's been the only thing on my brain since I started flipping and I haven't even started reading it yet just the one the two how many sent like two or three sentences I read of it that I was like oh my god <laughs> I'm reading this I'm reading this um so yeah 
so excited to uh, start reading it and do that series. So look forward to seeing that. Um, I'm not sure how many I'll get to do um, or even if I'll go beyond the one. Um, but yeah, um, also if you guys have any book recommendations for me, please leave them down below because I am at a loss when it comes to picking them up on my own. You guys have no idea how distressed I was searching the aisles of Target for a book until I saw the Song of Achilles and was like, I know that one. I know that's probably good. I'll pick that one up. So that's what I did. But every other book was like a mystery to me. It was scary. <laughs> so if you have any book recommendations, please leave them down below. Um, the next goal slash thing slash whatever that I have uh, is to just give more attention to this channel. I've been very inconsistent these last couple of months. And while I'm not sure if I'm going to be back on a fully regular upload schedule, although I do have January jam packed already, um, I still think I want to at least try to upload more frequently and then gradually find a new upload schedule that works best for me. Um, January is slotted to have Saturdays be my upload still, um, but life happens. Things go on and so I don't know if I'm gonna hit every single Saturday. I might have to move videos over and do things like that um, to get through everything. I don't know, things, are, things may change and I may upload every Saturday, but I may not. So anyways, I'm gonna work on that um, because again, the work-life balance thing, I have to figure out how to be a person and a business owner of something, I don't know a person and an artist and have that artist be separate from the person sometimes so need to figure that out but i am very excited to upload i have ideas in my mind like i did when i first started doing this um, and i haven't had those for a while so looking forward to doing more of that um and then kind of playing off that last bit i also want to try to be more organized this year uh when i first started this channel i was really on top of things but since starting this channel i've had quite a bit more of a workload than i had at the beginning so i'm hoping to start keeping track track of things um specifically by journaling i'm not going full bullet journal daily mood tracker hydration tracker everything like that not that there's anything wrong with that um just my brain physically can't do that <laughs> i absolutely am incapable of doing something like that i will stop doing it i will maybe do it for a month and then i will fall off of it because it's just too much it's too overwhelming for me um but i am gonna start trying to keep better track of things like my commissions and like my uh upload schedule and like when i get a video idea and write things down and plan things out um because it does help me to have structure and to have a plan um but not have that structure be too rigid because when i do have a rigid structure and then I fall off of it it's just that's the end never happening again one day is enough for me to be like well that didn't work I'm not doing that <laughs> so uh yeah I'm definitely going to try to journal things um but in a like lax sort of way um something that would be a lot easier on me um so yeah i really really hope that i do that and that i stay on top of things because i bought all these pans oh it's so pretty um i bought a super cute um journal because i always have to do those for like tax stuff i like to just get uh, a calendar journal type thing a planner i like to get a planner um and then kind of keep track of my commissions that's something that i was somewhat consistent with last year but sometimes i would get a couple of months behind and then scramble to go through through my procreate files because I try to keep everything organized on there if you guys want to see how I organize stuff maybe that's a video that I can do um how to organize commission work and stuff like that because I finally nailed down a system that is very simple and very easy for me to do but anyway I like to get a planner for that sort of purpose but I'm just gonna add more to that planner but I got a really cute planner and I got green pens because I'm upset I'm in my green period right now okay very green everything i'm wearing green right now i love green right now obsessed so i got some green pens and then i got um these like off pink like grayish pinky purple and then a blue and it's so pretty and i like it <laughs> so um hopefully having everything be very nice and aesthetic will uh influence me to be more productive in that front um anyways uh lastly very tentatively i want to start messing around with patreon again like i said in i think the last video or maybe the video before last um i'd be bringing it back in a much more lax capacity um it's definitely something that i would like to do but uh it's not up and live again yet because when i do uh resume things i want to make an announcement video of some sort and just give myself time prior to that um to figure out what it is exactly that i want to do um because i don't know if i want to just have it be like oh like 
two dollars and it's an early upload and whips and you know little stuff that I won't be posting anywhere else because I've really fallen off of posting on things like Instagram so it very well might be that if you guys want to see um, you know sketches work in progress stuff that it will end up on patreon rather than on Instagram I'll still probably post occasionally on Instagram but Instagram leaves such a sour feeling in my everything lately um just because the algorithm is so it's so blatantly against artists that i feel yucky posting on instagram especially because my because i don't post videos because i do love tiktok um but when i make tiktoks i'm posting them to tiktok i'm not on instagram making reels uh because it it just takes too much like thought power if that makes sense um you know to record myself while i'm illustrating unless i'm specifically like with tiktok i'll hear an audio and i'll be like oh yes i want to use this audio and make this piece and i'll record it this way it just comes easily to me when i'm doing tiktoks but when i'm doing instagram instagram's usually like for my finished pieces and a lot of those finished pieces that i'm proud enough of to post i don't record the process of because that diminishes um my confidence i guess i get like i i get so anxious when i know that somebody's gonna see the process of me making something which is weird because it's not like that when i do youtube but it kind of is because you guys don't see my sketch or my uh my um my line art usually sometimes i'll do a little time lapse but i've been forgetting lately <laughs> um but yeah you don't usually see the process of me creating and while i do want to um do more of that it's just not something that i think of when i'm on instagram it's just like uh, it's supposed to be for images but it's all videos now because of tiktok and they want to compete with tiktok and fine but ugh, i don't know i just don't like instagram recently um so yeah but i am still gonna try to post occasionally but anyway stuff that you won't see on instagram uh is gonna hopefully maybe end up on patreon if i do post on patreon um also something that i'm playing around with like i said in the last video is maybe some type of commission tier like a discounted commission tier um but i don't know <laughs> so yeah um i'm gonna play around with it this month and kind of see what i think would work and what i don't think would work um and if i do decide to bring patreon back i will do a video so that you guys can see all of that mess but anyway i have been rambling for long enough so those are my goals for 2023 um some of them are kind of ambitious but mostly i'm hoping 2023 is the year where i either go with the flow or the flow picks me up and drags me along with it um hopefully drops me where it needs me to be um it's gonna be i hope a year full of learning new things about my art and myself and the world um so <laughs> drama aside what are some of your goals or resolutions let me know below they can be about anything it doesn't have to just be about art it can be about you um it doesn't have to be a goal it can just be something you want to do i know that kind of sounds like a goal but for me a goal is like something that i do consistently so maybe just tell me what are some things you want to try in the new year i don't know anyway <laughs> All that being said, I love you guys so, so much. Happy New Year. I hope it is as lucky for all of you as it hopefully will be for me. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.